a very requested video and I'm super excited about this. Today I'm doing a what's in my purse 2015 version. This is the purse I use for school, for everything basically, and I'm going to show you what is in it. I'm going to lie, I have a pretty big bag. I've always been a big bag sort of girl. The only time I'm not is in the summertime because everything is pretty much laid back in the summertime. But I love me some big purses and I don't fill it with the whole world. I try to keep it minimal because these muscles right here can't really carry so much weight for so long of a time. Plus, I use this as my school bag so I have three binders in here, like heavily packed binders at a time so I can't really fit anything else. But this is my baby. This is from Bag Inc. I had a bag from them before which was pretty much the same style, just a little bit different. This resembles a Celine more than my other one did and this has the suede black and the faux leather black and I absolutely love it. If you haven't heard me mention Bag Inc. already, I absolutely love them. Their bags are amazing quality, like just downright absolutely phenomenal. Definitely way worth the extra bucks rather than to get a purse from Target, Forever 21, anything like that. These are literal designer bag quality in a way cheaper bag. I don't know how many times people have stopped me and asked me if this is a Celine in the hallway and I'm like, no boo, if it was I probably wouldn't take it to school. I'm not a big designer bag type of girl. I mean, maybe one day I'll change my mind, but if something looks the same for a lot cheaper, I'm gonna go with the cheaper version, especially at my age being 16. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I love this baby, I love it. This is the Vanessa Tote in large, and it's the black and suede version. They also have a medium version of this and a bunch of different styles and colors and the last bag I got which was all faux leather it was a little bit smaller and it was called the Lana bag I will link both of those bags down below I definitely recommend them the only reason I went up a size is because I like this a bit more just a wee bit more and it's bigger for my binders so right now it's peeking out but when I hold it like this you can't see my binders through and my other one you can see like my binders through like right off the top anyway I'm going to show you guys what is in this puppy. So as you can see, there's a front compartment swinging around town. Also, why I like this bag better is it comes with a little arm strap. Even though I don't really use it, I like the look of it. You can also put like sunglasses here, which is adorable. And yeah, I haven't done that yet. This is just the 360. In this compartment, I haven't kept anything in it. Right now, the only thing in it is a mini pink highlighter for school. Opening the bag, I usually have three binders crisscrossed. And what I mean is this one is this way, and then the next one would be that way, and this way. All right, the next thing in here I want to show you guys. You're probably like, Adiel, why do you have two cheeseburger earmuffs? in your bag? Well that's a great question. Well first of all, I live in New York and it gets pretty cold here in the winter and my ears get freezing all the time. And I mean these are just hilarious for one and they are the warmest, comfortablest things ever. I am just obsessed. They keep me so, so warm. I don't like any of like the head wraps because they like mess up my hair. This is absolutely perfect. I got them off of an Etsy site and I love Etsy. If you don't know what Etsy is, it's pretty much a bunch of like handmade items that people sell. These came so fast. They are so cute and they keep you warm and they bring a nice laugh. I found out about these because they actually went like viral on ABC. If you want to twin with me and get these, the link will be down below. They're absolutely adorable and a necessity for my purse. All right, next I'm going to show you guys more. This is my agenda. I've shown you guys this before. It is my absolute love. So I have my calculator in here. Again, boo school, but then next, gotta have my headphones. I can never leave the house, especially for school without these because I mean, people are annoying on the bus in the morning and I kind of want to like conceal all the stuff going around. Next, I have a little Vera Bradley wallet thing, and this is from my friend Ryan Brown. 
shout out to you. In here, in the front, I have my driver's permit, which I'm 16 now, and in New York, you have to be 16 instead of 15 to get your permit, so... Yeah, so I have my Starbucks Gold card because, I mean, what white girl would I be without one? I have a disgusting school ID, which just gag. I have working papers, and I also keep some extra cash in here. Just like $5 just in case I run out of money for lunch or a drink or anything because it's not good to be, like, hungry. So the last thing I really have, like, out in the open to show you guys is this... Um, my makeup bag, or it's not really my makeup bag, it's basically like my necessities bag and everything that I pretty much need in one bag. This is a backroom style haul and in it I have things like hand sanitizer because people are crusty. EOS lip balm because lips can get crusty. An EOS hand cream slash lotion because your skin can get crusty. Some proxy brushes for my braces because you know your teeth can get crusty especially with braces. A q-tip because your ears can get crusty. <laughs> I'm running out of things to call crusty. No, but these q-tips are just for like quick um, touch-ups, like if my eyeliner is running down my under eyes, can't have that, gotta swipe. I also have a little British flag compact mirror, a rollerball perfume from Charming Charlie in Lace Soleil Impulse Red Medium, which is actually not a rollerball anymore and I can't really open it, it's kind of just like a pour and whatever. A Minnie Mouse mirror brush thing that my friend brought me back from Disney. Mini thing of hairspray because I always need hairspray to kind of like tame. Let me just tell you, I was at the Justin Timberlake concert. I have a get ready with me for it and we went for my friend's Sweet 16 and we went in a limo, right? And on the limo, I guess where I was sitting, there was some brown stuff. Who knows what it was? I hope it was chocolate and I was sitting in it, right? And we get into the Barclays Center and I'm like on line for the bathroom and some girl taps me and she goes, excuse me, like you have something on your pants and I don't mean to be rude, but if it was me, I would want to know. I was like, thank you, because I was not walking around with this brown stain by my butt, making people think that I pooped my white pants. We're in there, right? And my friend's mom, Janet, shout out, hey, um, she was trying to like clean it off my thigh with like water and like the tissue and whatever. And this girl comes up to us and goes, do you have hairspray? And at first I was like, no. And I was like, wait my handy dandy purse kit. I pulled out the hairspray and she goes, good, it's aerosol, it's cold. Spray it right on the brown stain, rub it and it'll come right off. She was right. This is why, you know, why can't all girls just be like this, be friendly, give life tips all the time? Like, I think I actually like bowed down to her. Ooh, that's not cute. Came right off. My white pants, they look good as new. I didn't have to bleach them. I did not have to do anything. So life tip, always keep one of these in your bag. The second she told me, I was like, I need to share this with my viewers. Like, this is the best life tip I have ever come across. And it was so, like, last minute, too. And then I have a lip gloss, just in case the chapstick, you know, gotta touch up. Or usually I will throw in anything like eyeliner, mascara, or the lipstick I was wearing that day, just to touch up later on in the day. That's pretty much all in the main compartments on my purse. And there's this zipper compartment which contains more like hygienic things I guess I don't know it's kind of a mix I just have like tampons and panty liners then I have a contacts case this was from Bay, and you know it just comes in handy because the nurses are not very nice for my school at least let me know if your school has nice nurses and I have hair ties just in case and these I never really use hair ties just because I hate my hair back Next for my braces which I actually never ever use I've tried to use it and I I don't it does not help me at all I find it disgusting it's just a lump of wax sitting on a wire and then I start eating my food and all of a sudden the wax is off and I'm chewing the wax and yeah, I don't know why I continue to keep that in there, but I mean, hey, never know. Just like the hairspray. And I have a mini Justin Bieber Sunday perfume. It's all in that compartment. And then on the other side, we have two pockets. On the bigger pouch, I have a pen and a pencil. And then I have five gum. And then 
In the smaller one, I keep my phone. I have the iPhone 5. So that is all that is in my purse. Make sure you check the description to find out where I got everything from or like anything that I mentioned in the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you watched up to here your top three purse essentials. And any life tips that you know of that have saved you in an awkward and unexpected situation. Thank you guys so much for watching what was in my purse. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.